Hi everyone, I'm your cricket critic and today I have a couple of bats to show you. So these are uh, Hunter Cricket Bats. Now it's an upcoming brand from Pakistan. So a friend of mine, uh, he uh, told me that he was approached by them and he was given two bats uh, with the potential to buy. So he hasn't bought them yet. So he asked me to just have a look at them and review them and give my opinion of them so that he can make up his mind whether he should go for it or not. So we're going to talk about them one by one. Uh, let's first talk about this one because this one is actually not quite, uh, not that bad. So uh, this is the hunter's cricket, uh, hunter cricket. Let's get the elephant out of the way. At first it's, the cricket is spelled wrong for some reason. <laughs> So, uh, it is the Hunter Cricket Pro Edition for some reason. So, let's talk about the looks first. Now, this has got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 grains. Uh, the, it looks like there is no hardwood on this, but I'll get to it a bit later. There is a pin knot on the side here. Uh, the grains are straight uh, from here and they're bit uh, evenly spaced but they they start getting skewed as they go down so uh, and there's something uh, here I see that's under the stickers not ex exactly sure what it is uh, and uh, uh, there's something on the toe as well that's some kind of a toe protection thing that's going on so, as far as the looks go, I mean, I don't know what grade this is, but if I were to take a guess, this would be a grade 3. Or if I was being very generous, may maybe a grade 2. Uh, so, let's talk about the handle. The handle is uh, medium thickness. It's slightly semi-oval from the bottom hand and round from the top. Uh, it, it looks okay. Nothing wrong with the handle. It's not twisting, so it's not whippy, uh, so it looks fine. There's three cork inserts at the top. Uh, so let's talk about the stickers now. I like the uh, I like the design. Uh, it is uh, uh, you know not as derivative as a few of the other brands from Pakistan. But that is as far as I will go because the quality of the stickers is really poor. Uh, there is embossing on it, but uh, it's of a very low quality. It is fully knocked sticker. It's not fully knocked. And the stickers are just coming off from a lot of places. There's a lot of creases on it. It's coming off from here. It's coming off from here. And the overall quality of the stickers, I am not really a fan of. So let's talk about the profile. So this has got a full spine running through the toe profile. It's got a mid to low sweet spot. Uh, the size is, uh, when I measured it, it wasn't anything special. Uh, it's got about 34 millimeters on the edges, about 58 millimeter on the spine, 16 millimeters on the edge of the toe and 27 millimeters from the center of the toe, 14 millimeters on the shoulders, and uh, based on that it's you know pretty average uh, the weight of this bat is 210 uh, it's exactly 210 so from the pickup it does feel a little bit lighter I would say it feels like a 29 to nine and a half so it's 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 all right I mean I I, I wouldn't mind this pickup so let's talk about the pressing. Now the pressing is uh, on a little softer side on this, but it's not too soft. Uh, it, it it's all right. The pressing is all right. Uh, it's nothing special. When I checked, so we'll check with the mallet and we'll try uh, with the ball next. So right at the toe. So this is 
right in the middle and off center. It does sound a little strange and for a bat with a mid to low sweet spot uh, it's not quite as responsive as I would have liked uh, near the mid to low area. In the middle it's alright but from the bottom and from near the stickers it's absolutely dead. So I would say uh, it will take some time to open up but eventually it will be alright. Uh, it is though, I mean, it when, when I check the pressing from the mallet, it feels like it's very hard pressed. But even with the very uh, soft blows of the mallet, I can see some indentations on it, which means it is very soft pressed. So it is kind of strange. I don't know what it is. So now we'll check with the ball. So it's alright, it's not bad, but yeah, already I can see some really deep seam marks just by bouncing an old Duke's ball from it. So it's uh, very soft pressed, but it doesn't feel like a soft pressed bat. When I bounce the ball of it or when I, uh, you know, uh, uh, hit it with the mallet, it feels like very hard and I don't, I don't know, it's just something weird. So, uh, I don't know the price of this, uh, he wasn't, uh, he didn't uh, tell me the prices, but I am to assume that this is the lower grade of the two, uh, so I, I, I'm not really sure, so I can't comment on the price. So that is the Pro Edition, uh, now let's get to the Player Edition, now this is a HC Player Edition, and I wanted to keep this one for later because there is a lot to talk about this bat. Now these are the sorts of bat that people need to be very very careful of. It's got 13 grains. Uh, it's pretty straight. There's a couple. Uh, there's a slight bit of marbling here. There's a bit of a knot here under the stickers. A little bit of here. But here's the thing. Uh, when I looked at this bat and I, you know, saw it a bit more carefully, there are clear signs of bleaching. So this bat has actually been bleached to make it look more pleasing than it actually is. I can't say this for a, with a hundred percent certainty, but uh, it looks like it is uh, storm damaged. Now I can see uh, some horizontal marks here. Now as I said, I cannot say for certain, but I have seen uh, uh, GS Wright. Uh, these are signs of storm damage. Now what storm damage means is that it may not be, uh, you know, it may be nothing. Uh, so there is a chance that you are taking with this bat. If at all it is storm damaged, this is going to snap right from the middle. So I, I'm not sure. I, I There are just too many red flags with this bat. There is about 25%, 30% wood on the right handers outside edge but as I said this is heavily bleached so I don't know how much hardwood was actually there and how many blemishes were actually there which have now been hidden by the uh, bleach so coming back to the stickers the same old story the idea behind it is not bad but the execution is really poor the stickers are of really poor quality there's a fully knocked in sticker I don't know for what reason the handle on this is similar, it's slightly semi-oval from the bottom and round at the top. Now this bat has got a GM hex grip for some reason and this bat actually has three rubber inserts instead of cork inserts and the handle is, it, it feels very similar to the other bat. So the handle is alright actually, I, I, I kind of like the handle. So coming to the size and the profile. So this one has got a slightly 
duck bill profile uh, there's a little bit of concaving and uh, on the edges it's about 38 mm from the toe edge of the toe it's about 20 mm uh, 25 mm from the center of the toe 60 mm on the spine and the shoulders are surprisingly thin they're only 12 mm on the shoulders and let's talk about the pickup now uh, when I first held this bat and my friend uh, he uh, showed me the bats he told me that he was told that this was a 210 or a 211 bat and as soon as I picked it up I said there is absolutely no way that this is 210. This bat is at least 213 and I was wrong. Uh, when I checked it on the scale this bat is almost 3 pounds. So it's very very heavy. It is surprisingly well balanced for a 3 pound bat. I mean from the pickup it felt like a 213 or a 214. So it does feel slightly lighter than its dead weight. That's probably because of the duck bill toe. But there is absolutely no way that this would be a 210 or 11. It's a very heavy bat. Uh, there are some people, of course, that prefer a heavier bat. But certainly, uh, I mean, this is kind of a problem with uh, a lot of uh, places that you see in Pakistan. You walk into any store and every bat that they have there will either be a 26, 27 or 28. They will never tell you anything is higher than a 28 when actually that is not the case. So it creates a very false impression and a false perception of weight in the minds of people. When I show my bats to people and they think oh, that is a 2.6 and a 2.7 and I tell them no this is a 2.10 or maybe a 2.10 and a half and they're like no way that's not possible. Because when I went to this shop and he told he showed me a 2.6, 2.7 and that was a lot, uh, that was a lot uh, heavier. Uh, it just creates a false uh, perception of weight so I don't know if he told him that this is a 210 to 11 that is an absolute lie this is a three pound bat which picks up slightly better than its dead weight so let's get to the pressing now this bat is actually pressed very very soft uh, and it looks very dry as well I just dropped one drop of linseed oil on the face of it and it just disappeared within seconds. So I, unfortunately I cannot do more because uh, the bat doesn't belong to me and uh, you know uh, I, I really can't do much else. So you know from my first impressions of it, it looks like very dry. And that's surprising because for a bat this heavy with uh, you know it's nothing extraordinary on the size either. So I'm really surprised why this bat is, uh, you know, so uh, it, it I, I can't say for certain, but it looks very dry to me. So without further ado, let's check with the mallet. Off center. say this it does feel a lot more responsive than the other one uh, especially you know down low uh, near the low middle area and even up high it's, it's a, a lot more responsive all over so I'll give it that but it is uh, actually uh, actually even more soft pressed than the other one and now we'll check with the ball Ping on this bat is actually quite nice. It is flying really nicely. So down low, there's a, a very deep sound on this. Up high, even near the stickers, it's quite good. So the ping on this bat is actually quite nice but again very very deep seam marks on this and it is pressed extremely soft so it will require very careful knocking in and maybe a lot of oil as well because it looks very dry 
and with the signs of bleaching the, uh, i mean when you oil this bat it will become clear how much a uh, bleach has been applied on it because when you apply oil to a bleached bat it starts to turn yellow very fast and then you start seeing you know the some of the blemishes that were hidden and some of the heartwood that was hidden so we'll only know for sure once it's oiled and i'm not going to do that so as far as the ping is concerned the ping of this is quite nice but uh you know uh, again i don't know the price of this but it's supposed to be uh, you know more expensive than this but uh, i would say there are just too many red flags with this bat so i will definitely uh, you know not recommend a bat like this to someone there's signs of storm damage it looks very dry it's very heavy and it doesn't uh, i mean it does pick up a couple of ounces lighter than its dead weight but uh, you know there's a limit to uh, how much dead weight that you can I mean, if it's someone who likes to play with three-pound bats, then all good for him. But as far as I'm concerned, I would absolutely not go, uh, you know, recommend this bat to anyone. There are just too many red flags. So there you have it, guys. These are the two hunter cricket bats uh, that we have. I hope you like it, and please like and share and subscribe to the channel. And uh, that's pretty much it.